Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom, and today is the day. Today is the end of Rainbow High Pacific Coast, for now, for now. Um, at least as far as the uh, reviews go. We have Finn Rosado, and he is the second boy doll that we have from uh, Rainbow High in general, not even just Pacific Coast. I wish they would make more boy dolls, to be honest. Oh, and in case you were curious, Finn should be available sometime in mid-March. So we are gonna go ahead and open this box up, take a look at Finn, and see what he has to offer. And be sure to follow me on Instagram if you don't already, uh, because there's lots of fun stuff that happens there. And subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Hit the notification bell so YouTube shoots you out notifications whenever I upload. But let's go ahead and get into Finn and I'll tell you what I think. All right, so I got everything laid out here with Finn, his accessories, but you know the drill. We're just gonna have to set him off to the side just for a little bit so we can take a look at what comes with it here. And well, first up, obviously, uh, we do have our typical stand. Um, this is kind of a, I don't know, like a coral slash pink stand that matches him. We got a little bit of a thicker waist clip here, and we got the little pole, you know, nothing special. just. Typical rainbow high stand stuff. Uh, we do have the matching comb here as well, which I don't know how effective that will be uh, with his hair, but it's pretty cool. And look at these. We have these tiny little sunglasses. So these are super cute. These are like Ray-Bans and they have a pink frame here. Uh, the lens kind of goes from a smoky color gradient to clear and we have the little uh, white ear pieces on them as well. They're just really cute sunglasses. I absolutely dig these so much. And then of course, we have the surfboard. Like, come on, how can you deny this thing? Okay, it says rainbow all over the front. We got an RH in the middle there. And then on the back side, we have rainbow right here. This is a similar font that was used in, I believe stuff that Jade wears. Um, this, uh, this like font type right here, which is pretty cool. We have the fins on the back, which are like flexible, they're like a flexible rubber. But what I think is cool is we have the safety strap here as well, which has Velcro on it and you can wrap it around his wrist. How cool is that? That is super awesome. But I dig the, the surfboard. I mean, it's it's real thick. Unfortunately, we don't get any towels uh, with Finn. We don't get a towel with Finn. I don't know what they, do they just think that he doesn't get wet or like, but what's the deal there? I don't know, but we got a, we got a surfboard. So I, I think that's pretty awesome in, in my opinion. Okay, now we will go check out Finn. And this little guy is super cool. Um, so obviously you can see another accessory here we have is his little fanny pack or uh, he's using it as a shoulder bag, I don't know. But if you look on the back here, well actually on the side, uh, we have a little gold clip right here and we have some excess strap going on. Um, you can't actually tighten this or anything like that, which is kind of a bummer uh, considering that it hangs out so far. Like, I don't know what the point in that is, but this little buckle here doesn't work either. It's not functional. On the back side though, we have Velcro. So you can just go ahead and easily take that off of him because I, I gotta show you something with, with this bag. It's super cool. So first off, it says rainbow diagonally all across it. And of course, like I said, we have that little gold buckle right there, but check this out. This is the coolest thing ever. It actually has a little zipper on it. Like you can actually open up the zipper and put things inside of his bag. How cool is that? I don't know. I just thought that was really awesome. And so let's see, let's go ahead and close this bag up. A functional zipper on his little bag is probably about the coolest thing that I've seen yet in this line. I mean, come on. And of course, the fact that it has Velcro on it, so you can easily like put, take it on, put it on or whatever, you know, switch dolls. You don't have to undo a buckle and worry about tightening it or anything like that. It's just, it's just made to work. I don't know. I love this accessory. I can't get enough of it. Okay, so let's take a look at Finn here, Finny boy. Finny boy, Finny boy, Finny boy. I love this guy. So, of course, we do have this little hat right here. Uh, it says RH on it, and it's got uh, some nice fabric going on. I love how all the hats have been fabric. That's really nice, in my opinion. Um, it is clipped to his head, uh, so we have one little tie there, and then we have another little tie on this side. 
Uh, there's none on the back, um, so you can actually slide it up, but I wanna show you, I'm gonna slide it up real quick. Um, so you can see on the back of his head, he's he has flocking right here that goes like a gradient from pink to like a blondish color. And I think that's pretty cool because it's like, kind of like he dyed his hair first and then shaved it, you know, and, and it's been growing out or whatever. But uh, speaking of his hair, you can see that it's all curly. Uh, there's no product in it at all, uh, which is really nice. And it's very well rooted. I mean, I, I can't really, you know, see any like bald spots or anything there. So it's not really something you're gonna have to worry about with his hair. We do have a little bit that peeks out underneath the bill right here of his hat. Kind of looks cute flipped up like that though. I don't know. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it flipped up actually so we can take a look at his face real quick. Uh, he doesn't have any ear earring holes either, by the way, just in case you were curious, but the flocking does go all the way around. So he has a little bit right there above his ear and it goes all the way around the back. As far as his face goes, he's got brown eyes, which I love. I, I wish River had brown eyes. He's got some thicker eyebrows here, obviously, than uh, some of the girls. And he has a little bit of an outline on the top part of his eye right there that you can see. Um, not not necessarily eyeshadow, maybe like some eyeliner. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's just defining his eyes a little better. I don't know if it's supposed to actually be makeup or not. Um, he has a matte face and um, you know, his lips are just like a kind of a standard lip color, I guess. Uh, but he looks pretty cute. I really do dig his face and I like how he turned out. And there's just a look at the back of him with the hat on and the gradient uh, flocking right there. I think that he is a pretty cool doll and I'm very happy um, that we're having another boy doll because we need more boy dolls. Why don't we have any more boy dolls? We have two. Come on, give us some more boy dolls, please. Anyway, let's take a look at his clothing here. I did forget to mention actually um, that on his box, um, he is, uh, his focus is mixed media right there. You can see that on the side of the box. Um, but on his clothing here, look at this. We have like two shirts kind of like stitched together. It seems like, like one kind of says sparkle and the other one says California, though it just says spark because it's cut off. Um, but I thought that was pretty cool. And it is removable via Velcro on the back, as you can see. And then his shorts here, his shorts are super cool. So we have um, like this metallic print going on that says rainbow all over it. Might be hard to see because the light just makes that metallic very shiny, but it says rainbow all over his shorts right here. And up here, we have a waistband. So there's elastic here, and then there's this little tied drawstring that comes out of two little gold eyelets right there. Now you can take his shorts off without having to untie that little bow in case you don't wanna to have to do that. They do just come down. And funny enough, if you pull them down a little bit, you can see that he has pink underwear with a gold stripe at the top. So nice, nice little touch for Finn. And boy is ripped, like for real. <laughs> but that being said, um, let's take a look at his feet right here because he's got some cute little sandals on. Um, now, if I bring him up right here, you can see that on each side of his foot, we have an R right there and an H right there. In fact, let me go ahead and take off one of these so I can just show you the details up close of his little sandals here because they are super duper cute. Um, he had, look at them, look at that. I love it. And then on the bottom too, even, it says rainbow on the bottom of his sandals, which I think is pretty cool. Like, that's just nice little touch there. Everything on these are just phenomenal. And I, I love how it's pink and it has kind of a, it's supposed to be kind of like a reflective silver material maybe. Uh, it's not actually reflective, but that's what it reminds me of. Uh, but they're super cute little shoes and they fit on his little big, rainbow high feet. Um, obviously you can interchange clothes between him and um, River because they're kind of the same size. But as far as Finn goes all together, I think he is super cute. And let's take a look at him with his glasses on because obviously look at that. Like I am all for this look right here. Those glasses just look super awesome on him. Don't they? They're they're freaking amazing. I'm I'm such a big fan of them, and of course we have his surfboard here. Now, uh, important to note about the surfboard is there's no like pegs on here or, or any kind of way to hold his feet in. So when you stand him on here, you know you're just gonna have to stand him on there, or he can just maybe like you can lean it against uh, lean it against him, and he can kind of hold the surfboard like that. 
something like that. But you can put on this little safety strap right here on his wrist because like I said before, it's got Velcro so you can easily just wrap it around his little wrist. And look at that. He's got a surfboard attached to him with the little safety strap. I think that's cool. I, I think that's a really cool little detail there in my opinion. There's really not a whole lot to say about Finn because you know, I mean, he's got his little bag. Let's get him all done up with his bag here real quick. And he's got a surfboard. He does not come with a towel. Um, but as far as the articulation goes, he's basically the same as River with one exception. Finn has a ball joint in his head. So you can give him some cool poses. Unlike River, we never got a river with a with a neck articulation like that. But everything else is going to be the same. I mean, you can move his shoulders up that high, they spin around. Uh, we have elbow articulation. Uh, we do have swivel here at the elbow as well. And on his wrists here, he can go back and forth and then we can actually spin uh, his hand around as well. Uh, now with his legs here, he can kick out at about 90 degrees. And I believe we can go back about 45 on, uh, if we're taking it back like that. I'm gonna take this little bag off. It's like getting in the way. Um, and then <laughs> uh, he has his knee joint, which he can kick back 90 degrees. And he does have ankle articulation, uh, which River does as well. Now, I don't know why they don't put these on the girl dolls, but they put them on the boy dolls. Um, but I do appreciate the, uh, the ankle articulation here. It's actually kind of nice. I'll take all the boy dolls that you'll give us, Rainbow High. Finn is awesome. And I dig all the accessories here. Like, I don't know. I wanna know what you think about Finn though. Do you want to see more boy dolls from Rainbow High? Can give me give me some, some ideas of what you'd like to see in the future from this line. But um, this kind of wraps up the uh, Rainbow High Pacific Coast uh, lineup. I mean, I, I will probably have another video where I talk about my favorites from the line and things like that. So definitely leave a thumbs up if you want to see that pretty soon. And if you're not already, follow me on Instagram because there's all kinds of fun stuff happening there. And be sure to um, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the future. I really do appreciate all of the support, everyone, though. Thank you so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me. Uh, once again, this has been Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom, and I'll see you later. Bye.